Okay, this is a video of your heart. Um, Chloe's out sick today along with half the school, so um, I'm going to do this solo and hopefully it'll turn out alright. So um, I'm going to identify most of the structures and then we'll identify the different uh, veins, arteries, um, coronary structures. So starting up here, we have your right atrium here in blue down here and that opens up your right atrium over here we have your right ventricle so in green this structure is your right ventricle which opens up um, likewise over here we have your left atrium and down here we have so your left atrium in red in orange we have your left ventricle again they open up so left atrium whoops and left ventricle okay um, the wall dividing your ventricles here in yellow this this wall here this is your interventricular septum okay your uh, interatrial septum if we can zoom in it's actually this wall that's gonna lead all the way around here other um, atrium it's really hard to see but your interatrial septum would be the wall that's between those two. Um, here in green, we have your bicuspid valve, which is also called your mitral valve. Here in yellow, we have your tricuspid valve, which is on the side of your right atrium and ventricle. So your, your bicuspid or mitral valve is on the side of your left atrium and left ventricle. These little white pieces coming off your valve on each side, if you can see those, um, that's your chordae tendine. Um, and then the structures, I'm going to zoom in, where the chordae tendine uh, adhere to your heart here, this is, um, these are your papillary muscles. So, let's see, if I take, like, let's call it this pink sticker here these are your individual papillary muscles which is where your chordae tendine adhere to okay so another structure to identify over here in your left ventricle if we can zoom in if you can see down there in red we have where the number 45 is that is your aortic semilunar valve so that's on the left uh, side of your heart. On the right side of your heart, right here in green, we have your pulmonary semilunar valve. Okay? And that's going to lead up here. Let's close the heart back up so we can see this. Okay, so this is going to lead up here. This is your pulmonary trunk. And your pulmonary trunk is going to branch off into your left pulmonary arteries and all the way over here in green or I'm sorry uh, blue your le your right pulmonary artery so those are your pulmonary arteries and then we have your pulmonary veins which are here in green so these two are both your pulmonary veins and you also have pulmonary veins back here so these are pulmonary veins too okay so let's zoom back out this is going to be your superior vena cava and down here you can't let's see if we can get a good view this is your inferior vena cava this is your aorta okay all right now let's uh, discuss some of these sinuses and um, these coronary vessels okay so right here this is your right coronary vessel. It's on the side of your right atrium and right ventricle, and it's coming off the aorta. Over here, we have, this is your left coronary artery. Um, if you can see, it's not the entire structure. It's kind of right here where the, where the number 29 is. So this is your left coronary artery um, 
it's going to branch off in two ways. It's going to branch off on this green structure, which is called your circumflex artery. So you can follow that green structure, the circumflex artery. And it's also going to branch off down here in blue. And this is your anterior, because again, we're on the anterior side of the heart, as you can see. Okay, so your anterior interventricular artery. It's in between your ventricles, so interventricular, and it's an artery, and it's on the anterior side. Okay, so now let's um, identify some of these vessels back here. I'm going to take this off so we can get a better view and turn it around. So now we're looking at a posterior view of your heart. Hey, Dan, can you pause for something? No, it doesn't. Okay, we're going to continue this. Um, sorry, my professor had a question. I didn't know how to hit pause. So we're going to start from here. I'm not sure what I covered last time. So we're going to have on this side the right coronary artery coming off the aorta. Let's zoom in here. Okay, so your right coronary artery. Um, over here you have your left coronary artery. And it's not the entire thing. It actually breaks off. It goes um, into the circumflex artery and it goes down to your anterior interventricular artery. Okay? Um, let's look at the posterior interventricular artery. That's going to be right here. Okay, so your posterior interventricular artery is right there. And here in purple, we have the great cardiac vein. Okay. Um, your great cardiac vein will actually empty into your coronary sar uh, sinus. So this bulge here is your coronary sinus that your great cardiac vein will empty into. Um, your middle cardiac vein right here will enter into there. And right here your small cardiac vein there in green will actually enter into there as well so it's all the way around here your small cardiac vein 